Artha. Eric, and for more on this right now, we're going to talk to Steve Rogers, who will give us more on the investigation aspect. He's a former member of the FBI Joint Terrorism Task Force and a retired lieutenant detective in the Nutley, New Jersey Police Department. And Steve, uh, I want to pick up on what Special Agent, uh, Special FBI Agent Bob Jones said. He said that uh, the investigators would be looking at the home, the vehicle, the movements over the last several days of uh, Mr. Bowers, uh, and, and they're saying that they're, they have no knowledge at this point if Bowers was known to law enforcement before today. What does all of that mean and what, where does this lead investigators? All right, so let's start from the beginning. Who's involved? Uh, President Trump has made it very clear that he is deploying the full uh, weight of law enforcement, which means a lot of manpower. Got it. A lot of manpower. So that's going to save a lot of time. So you're going to be looking at uh, forensics experts that will come in uh, into the crime scene and they will methodically go through that crime scene and pick up every piece of evidence, even microscopic evidence that will tie this guy to that uh, 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 a horrific, horrific killing. Uh, in addition to that, what is very important, hasn't been said much, is that part of the law enforcement teams, there'll be psychological criminal profilers that are going to look at this guy's social media platforms, websites. They're going to be talking to him. They're going to find out what his makeup's all about. But what's very important here is, as we've said earlier, is motive. And was there anyone else who knew that this was going to happen? Very, very important. So that's the road they're going to be going down. Well, it's already been deemed a hate crime. It's a federal crime. You yes. have 11 people who have been killed in this massacre this morning. Uh, does that compound the investigation and possible charges? Well, it does. And I've got to tell you, I think Joel was right on one point. It's also a terrorist attack. Uh, and that's something that's going to have to be looked into. But now that it's a hate crime, it's a federal crime, it compounds the charges, and this guy's going to go away for a long, long time. Uh, in terms of weapons, the, the, the agent said that they, he had an assault rifle and three handguns. They're not sure of the caliber at this time. So again, are they going to be looking at where Bowers got these uh, weapons from? When the, we just had a report from um, Natasha Lindstrom of the Pittsburgh Tribune Review saying that authorities are at the apartment complex where they believe Bowers uh, lives. So what are they looking for in that, in that apartment? And in terms of those, those uh, weapons, are they going to be looking at how he got them, where he got them, were they legal, legally purchased, or, or what? Well, that's the other part of the federal component, the ATF working in partnership with local law enforcement. Where did he get the weapons? How did he get them? When did he get them? Uh, very, very important uh, parts of this investigation. And the question is, did somebody else have those weapons and give those weapons to him? You see, all of these are questions that have to be answered. And believe me, they're going to find the answers to these questions. I, I have a, a final question. I need a, a, a quick answer, but it's very simple. Sensitive. You have uh, what uh, Special Agent Jones described as the most horrific crime scene he has seen in 22 years. You have souls who have perished inside of that synagogue. Um, you, there are religious religious purposes as to how soon they must uh, be buried. Um, and, and so I ask you, how much time does that give investigators to, to investigate thoroughly pour over that crime scene and how much time would they need on a situation like this? I believe like they this. will respect the Jewish community and they will do what they have to do within the time frame of those uh, religious uh, rules and regulations. That is so important to them. Yes. And I believe we have sensitive law enforcement officers and that's exactly what's going to happen. Mm. I just got chills. Well, Man, I've this said this horrible. and I'd right. like, uh, I just said this, America should be wrapping their arms around every Jewish person they know at this hour. Let them know we not stand. just now, always. Always. And always. We, we are Americans. Yes. We are Americans. Yes. We're not different because of where we go to church, who we love, right. what color of skin we have. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Yes. We keep saying it, but we really have to really You're right. but, focus but, on but, that and mean it. But we need to wrap our it's arms around much. let them know we stand with them. You're right. Thank you, Steve Rogers. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome.